Congress Working Committee to meet today ahead of the crucial All India Congress Committee meeting tomorrow. Party Vice President Rahul Gandhi attends Congress core group meeting yesterday amid reports of bigger role for him in the party. Ahead of Bharatiya Janata Party's three-day national executive and council meet from tomorrow onwards, the party to hold a meeting of its office bearers in the national capital to discuss the entire political situation. Narendra Modi writes Prime Minister to register his protest against Home Minister's recent statement counselling state panels to guard against detention of minority youth without trial. BSP Chief Mayawati says her party will go alone in the upcoming Lok Sabha elections, launches party's campaign with a big rally in Lucknow. Dissidents with the Naam Admi Party as party MLA Vinod Kumar Bini launches attack on Arvind Kejriwal, says AAP deviated from its principles. Kejriwal says Bini was demanding Lok Sabha ticket. Supreme Court questions the centre over the functioning of the screening committee, observes that coal blocks were allotted to certain private companies despite not figuring in the recommendations by competent authorities. India and Sri Lanka agree to release detained fishermen in their respective jails. Process to release around 236 fishermen to begin from today. Lankan Fisheries Minister meets Salman Khurshid in New Delhi. Police detained two and questioned several others after an FIR was lodged in an alleged case of a gang rape of a Danish woman near the New Delhi railway station in the national capital. South Korean President Park Geun-hye, who is on a four-day visit to India to hold delegation-level talks with Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh in New Delhi, also calls on UN External Affairs Minister Salman Khurshid. Wholesale inflation declines to a five-month low of 6.16% in December from 7.52% in November. Inflation in food articles drops to 13.68% in December. An international meet in Afghanistan to be held in New Delhi. Representatives of over 50 countries will discuss security, political and economic transitions apart from electoral reforms and reconciliation process in Afghanistan. In a major tragedy, at least 23 people, including 19 children, were killed when a school van collided head-on with a heavy truck in Pakistan's southern Sindh province. The students were going to take their examinations. In Iraq, at least 73 people were killed in a series of bombings in Baghdad. UN Chief Ban Ki-moon urges Iraq's leaders to seek political reconciliation to resolve nationwide violence. Egyptians vote for a third referendum in three years to approve a new constitution. Early results show more than 90% voted yes, paving way for army chief's presidential bid. Ahead of international peace talks in Syria, international countries pledge more than 2.4 billion US dollars in humanitarian aid for the victims of the war in Syria. UN chief urges Syria's opposition to attend upcoming peace talks. World champion Australia snuff out India 7-2 after India's initial 2-0 lead in the quarterfinals of Hockey World League final. Defending champion Novak Djokovic and top seed Serena Williams roll into the third round of the Australian Open in Melbourne. Hot weather causes problems for the players. Ace Indian Shuttler, Saina Nehwal and PV Sindhu advanced to the second round in Malaysia Open. Saina next face uh, Yao Shui of China, while world number 11 Sindhu takes on six seed Yeon Jo Bei of Korea. 76th death anniversary of Sarat Chandra Chattopadhyay, the popular Bengali novelist and storyteller, being observed today.
and a cold wave continues to throw life out of gear in North India. Minimum temperature hovers around 7 degrees Celsius in the national capital.